Hey Pirates, it's Ren here. This video is just a quick tutorial on how to control your fleets and how to use the keyboard shortcuts. I chose to use a siege target because there's good space here to practice. This kind of skill is good on raids and pillage and stuff like that, but above all it's very good when you're trying to hit bases and you need to have multiple ships doing multiple different things at the same time. So the quick guide, if you want to know the keyboard shortcuts, you click on the little cogwheel here and you go on controls. And here you can see each one of them, what they do, one by one. But let's do a, an actual demonstration. So one important setting, back to the cogwheel here, on the effects tab, there is an option that you can turn on and off the auto select all ships. Mine is on, so every time I join a target, the five ships are already selected. The default in the game used to be that just the flagship is selected and then you gotta press the up arrow to select them all. And then if by any chance they start moving, the down arrow stops them all. So that's the most basic thing. The other thing you can do is right or left arrow to go and you can look at it down here to alternate from ship to ship. Right, so let's start with ship number one. I want to put it here. Let's put ship number two in here. Just so it's very visible what I'm doing. Ship number three, ship number four, ship number five. So now you can see them all in there. And again, the basic control up arrow selects them all. So let's say you want to select all of your ships except ship number two. What do you do here? You hold the shift key and you press number two. And you see ship number two got deselected. If I don't want ship number four either, now I press shift four. And when I click move, you'll notice that ships two and four are not going anywhere. So one, two, three, four, five again. I'm spreading them out again. Okay. So the other thing you can do, uh, sometimes you want to send one ship one way and four ships a different way. So one thing you can do, let's say I have my flagship and I want it to go through a specific path. So I can click where I want it to go. And if I hold shift and I click on a second point, there's a smaller dot and I click on a third point and I click on a fourth point and I click on a fifth point. So these are called waypoints. While it does that, I'm going to press the up arrow, pick them all, shift one, deselect the flagship. And now while the flagship is doing that predefined path, I can actually control the other four. That's how in a base hit, for instance, people can send their harrower after your overlord carrier while their four warhounds go do something else. For that matter, you could do something entirely different and you could have, let's say, ship number two, which you can also pick by just pressing number two on the keyboard. So let's say I want ship number two to go around the base killing structures on the rim of the base, right? So I want it to go here, then here, then here, and then back here. And while ship number two does that, I want ships number three, four, five to do something else. So now I'm going to press shift one, shift two. Those ships are not selected. But my other three ships now will be, for instance, preparing a gate so I can send the harrower in. And that one ship is going around killing warehouses or a radio tower or whatever is on the rim of that base. Right, so my suggestion is that you pick a, a siege fleet like this one, go into a base part target and practice this. All right, I hope this was helpful. Again, if you need to see control by control, go on the cogwheel, click controls, and here you can see all of them. All right, take care pirates. See you next time.